นี่ไฟละคมแป้งในปังคอนเป็นดับลำธารหน่อยไปกันปังลำขอมถ่ายลำธารก็ปังนี่กระบังคอยดังรัตตี้ระวังรับหาปะทำนายแค่วิชาภาษาอังกฤษ Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Muhammad Rifan bin Abdurrahim with my metric ID MA 202128. Today, me and my friends are going to present to you about a structure that involves static problem. We had identified a coplanar force system involves where a truck is lifting a concrete pole. Coplanar force system defined as the number of forces. Which remain in the same plane. These are the photos that related to the coplanar force system. The first one and the second one. Hence, this video are going to provide you the solution of the static problem. Hope you enjoy. It. Firstly, we must draw a part C X and part C Y at the point of A. At the part C Y, uh, the force is F one equals to three thousand kilogram. We also draw a force for the point B and point C. From the point B is F A B. The, fo the force is F A B. At the point C, the force is F A C. The degree is theta because we don't know the degree. So F1 is equal to 3000 multiplied by uh, the gravity and we get the F1. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing just these slides in both ears. So, um, this is the problem statement, which is um, we have to determine the force in each of the cables A, B, and A, C as a function. Uh, if the maximum tension allowed in each cable is 20 kN, so we have to determine the shortest length of cable A, B, and A, C that can be used for the lift. And the center gravity of the pipe is located at G. After this, I will show you the FPD. At the bottom of the picture, as we can see, the free body diagram shows the cable AC, cable AB, and also G located in the middle of the pipe. So here is the solution on how to find or determine the cable AC and cable AB. Summation of Fx equal to zero. We can get the FAC and FAB is actually equal to F. So summation of Fy equal to zero, we can get the value of F. So uh, we continue the solution, then we can find the shortest or minimum cable length of AB and cable AC. Okay, from the structure, uh, we, we have to separate it into the three composite sections. So this is the formula of the centroid. So. Uh, the summation of area uh, for the whole section we got 51.12 and the summation of area times by center of gravity of x axis we got zero so um, for uh, the summation of area times by y we got 130 so because of this uh, because of uh, 
uh, if we key in in the some uh, formula we got uh, for the x coordinate we got zero so for the y we have to find it which is uh, one three zero divided by fifty one point one two for the area this if one three zero is the summation of a times y so we got two point five four three so uh, the coordinate of the centroid of the structure we got is uh, zero for at axis uh, and two point five four for the y axis that's all from me thank you